just hope that someday someone would love me. Hey guys, it's Wolf Dreamer. I'm super excited to share this cozy base game only save file with you today. I've been following its creation on Tumblr for a while now and it finally got released last weekend. It's called Silent Pines and it's got a mystery for you to solve. This is the Tumblr for Silent Pines and it says special credit. Silent Pines is heavily inspired by and uses a very similar style to the stunning Winbrook save file by Folkling and the gorgeous Port Sim save file by Floorwall, and the amazing builds by Moonwood Mills, which is an amazing creator. I love their builds too. Silent Pines is a base game only save file, inspired by Life is Strange, with three major worlds, a whole new set of townies, and a complete mystery to solve. So this version only contains Willow Creek as Silent Pines so far. They do have a couple of other worlds named, but they're not filled yet. There are 13 community lots, three move-in ready homes that are empty, I believe, and a total of nine houses, six of which are filled with townies. 18 households with jobs, story, and drama, and a complete mystery to solve should you want to. So here is Silent Pines, and over here, we'll start with the strip. There's the Pines Diner and Cinema. There's the Dive Bar and Country Club. The Harrington Library. Pines Gym and Post Office, which I can't wait to show you. I absolutely love this post office. Over here we've got the Twin Ridge Motel. Church and Wedding Venue. Silent Pines Park. Cafe and Bookstore. Pines Community Garden, also a wicked cute lot. We've got Ma's Diner. Event and Community Center. We've got Betsy's Internet Cafe and the Silent Pines Pool. And those are all the community lots. And then we've got a few filled ones here, the Harris Household. Um, this is my own sim that I put here so we could tour the save file. Um, this is the Roommates, Comptons, the Emerson Mystery. This is the family um, of the teen that went missing. Willamette duplex families, and then the empty lots over here, and I'll show you the households. So yeah, there's Jack. He's my sim that I put here. These are the Comptons. Only a week after moving to Silent Pines and everyone thinks the Comptons are perfect. A cute couple and their daughter. What isn't there to like? But nobody is that happy. Surely there's something more to it. Or maybe they truly are in love and everything is perfect. Then we've got the Emerson family. Cleo Emerson went missing a while ago, and nobody knows where she went. Nobody in Silent Pines will say it, but it's a bit suspicious how easily she disappeared, isn't it? Why aren't her parents looking for her? Penelope is wrapped up being a business tycoon, and Gulliver is too busy having not-so-secret affairs. Gerald misses Cleo almost as much as Amanda Harris does. Maybe if someone investigated the Emerson home, the truth could be revealed. So I guess there are some clues in their home that your sims could go and investigate and poke around and try to figure out what happened. Then we have the Feldmans. Everyone keeps telling Caden that Cleo's gone for good, ran off with the forest kid. He might have seen someone that looks a bit like her, but he's sure it was just a trick of the light. In totally unrelated news, Caden also might have done something bad. Something completely unlike himself. And now, Sheriff Pangborn won't leave him alone, telling him if he saw anything that could help with Cleo, he should report it. And land in jail? Not a chance. So I guess there's another missing person, um, this forest kid, but I, I'm not too sure about all of that just yet. Then we have the Pangborns. Home of the Silent Pines Sheriff, Pangborn, and his three teens. Gavin Pangborn used to date Forrest Lyman before Forrest ran away from town with that Emerson girl. It wasn't easy, being different in a small town like Pines, but people were all right for the most part. Sure, he and Forrest got roughed up sometimes, but not enough to make a guy run away, right? Then we have Lyman. Daryl has realized he didn't know much about his son before he ran away. Oh, this must be Forrest's dad. He didn't know Forrest was friends with Cleo Emerson, but they disappeared around the same time. Didn't know some kids were giving him a tough time, too. 
People in Silent Pines look at Daryl weird for going about his day as usual, but what's he supposed to do? Go chasing around the country for Forrest? Look, the way Daryl sees it, maybe this was all for the best. Maybe now the kid can be happy. So that's weird, like the way that he's so nonchalant about his kid being missing. Then we've got the Harris household. Amanda hasn't been the same since her best friend Cleo disappeared. She hardly eats, sleeps, or paints anymore. To make things worse, her dad can't land a job despite his three college degrees and started getting involved with some sketchy people to help pay the increasing bills. Her mom's exhausted all the time from taking care of the new baby, a baby that looks nothing like Amanda's dad. I wonder if she could be having the affair with the Emerson, was it the Emerson husband? <laughs> I don't know, that's interesting. Then we have the roommates. After her brother Luca's funeral, Olivia ran away from home as soon as she could and spent a few nights in the motel before she met Aurora. The two became fast friends and started renting the cheapest house in Mill Park Avenue. It's been almost a year and Aurora can't help what she feels for Olivia. But Olivia just got a new trashy boyfriend, and Aurora's never been a homewrecker, except for when it's justified. <laughs> and finally, we have the Willamette Duplex families. The Duplex house is two families, the Shaws, Blue House, and a young couple named Tommy and Lizette in the Yellow House. Tommy's been fooling around with Janine, so now he's got a son named Corbin that he's got to deal with. Lizette knows Tommy's player nature, but she wants a stable home for their daughter, Genevieve. People around town haven't seen the Shaws much since their son's funeral. Nobody wants to remind them of Luca's death, so everybody just kind of leaves them alone. I love how dynamic and interesting and interconnected all these families are. I think that this could be a really fun save file to actually like pursue this mystery and like figure everything out, you know? So first we're going to be taking a look at the Silent Pines Cinema and the Diner. And this is a very cute little lot. Um, I can already see the Life is Strange um, influence here with this diner and the cinema is so cool. Like I never thought about actually building a movie theater in The Sims but they nailed it and this is all just with base game items. So we've got a few theater rooms over here and we've got like the the main lobby with some seats and like the really cute little I love how they did this little booth like where the person sits like giving you tickets ticket booth I guess and then over here there's the like restaurant kind of eating area um, I think these are supposed to be arcade machines that they created with a bunch of items from base game which is really cool I really like that idea and then downstairs, um, at first there's a little cafe downstairs with uh, some books and chess tables. Very cozy, very cute. And then back here we've got like the concession area, which I love. This looks so great. Over here we have the diner. Um, at the moment I don't think it's... I don't know if it's functional um, because I think the cinema is like the main attraction I'm not sure but um, the diner looks pretty empty but it's so cute this is like so so realistic now we're at the country club and dive bar and inside we've got let's see this is the top floor of the country club I'm assuming and in here there's a bunch of chess tables some books, cool little spot to hang out, and there's like a cafeteria situation going on over here which looks really nice. I love the vibe of this whole save file. Everything looks so muted and kind of gloomy and realistic. And then down here is the bottom floor of the country club. Um, there's a stage for performing. Um, same thing next door. There's a stage for performing at the dive bar. And a little bar. I love the string lights. You guys know I love string lights. They've got like a really cute little vibe going on here. Very like cozy lighting. I 
absolutely love what they did here, and there is some CC in one of the versions of the save file. Um, so this one, I'm not even sure if this is CC. Yeah, this is um, part of the CC that comes with the CC version of it. It has like one CC package file just for like the missing posters and the, the Silent Pines um, billboard and stuff like that graffiti. So it's not necessary. You can get the CC free version and it just won't have those signs. It'll be either replaced with like base game stuff or, you know. So yeah, that's the dive bar and the country club. Now we're at the library next door. And what I really like about this library is that it also incorporates like this kind of small town diner aesthetic to it as well. And there is a little cafe inside and I absolutely love this this reminds me so much of like small town diners and cafes and places that I've lived and gone to and they're always so cozy and delicious so yeah this is a really cute little diner and then back here we've got the actual library with everything that a library needs and there's a really cute little like daycare spot for your sims kids if they're visiting the library and a lot of what this creator does is use like these custom gallery um, pieces of art so these aren't CC even if you get the CC free version you'll get these um, various paintings and wall pieces that don't look like their base game but they're just created by people on the gallery over here we've got the Pines Gym and Post Office, and this is also a really great lot. They're all really great lots, I mean this whole save file is so awesome. Like back here they have a um, roller rink, and these second floors are empty. I guess you can do whatever you want with them if you want to add more stuff, but for now they're empty. And then we've got this post office, which is obviously not like functional it's more for storytelling purposes but look at how cool this is the creator put these like little windows here with the computers like this is where the people would sit and it kind of has bank vibes too but this is so cool i absolutely love it these are so post office these like desks really cool and then over here we've got the gym It's a pretty basic modern gym, locker room, um, kitchen in the back, little cafeteria type of thing. What is this? Yeah, this is another one of those gallery pieces of art, and this is so cool. I really need to incorporate these into my builds more, because I forget that these things exist, but look how cool that is. They have like a little whiteboard with all these post-it notes and stuff. That's so cool. Here's like the storefronts, little waiting room, sitting room area in the gym with some more lockers, little sitting area in the post office. Now we're across the street at the Silent Pines Park, and this is a really great little park too. They built like a little food stand, and um, I believe this is also functional. They have like a bar here so you can... Um, Hire a mixologist, little drink bar, very cute little pond. Um, there will be ducks like swimming in this pond sometimes. Hot tub, cool little seating area, little playground for the kids. Oh, another roller rink. I love that. Now we're at the church and the wedding venue, and this is so pretty. This is like such an elegant build. Um, so over here, there's like a really cool, like long table with all these chairs for your wedding guests. And we're going to take a look inside and there are rooms. So I guess you can have your Sims like come stay here for the wedding or I don't know. It's like dressing rooms. I don't know, but that's just really cool. Down here, there's a bar little seating area, waiting room type of thing, dining room, kitchen, 
so beautiful. I love the colors that they went with. Everything is very like neutral. Back here, we've got the big seating areas for all the guests. We've got the altar and where everything goes down. <laughs> Stage. Little cemetery behind the church. And then there's also the inside part of the church where your sims can have their wedding as opposed to the outside. Um, this is like the dance floor. This is so cool. Bathrooms over here with their own little closed stalls. This is such a beautiful lot. I love this. So realistic. This whole save file is so realistic. I'm obsessed. Okay, now we're over at the Twin Ridge Motel, and this is like, they nailed it with this motel. This looks so legit. Um, I'm gonna take a look inside. Here we have the rooms. So there's three motel rooms. Um, we've got a little gym and a kitchen. Over here, I'm guessing bathrooms. There's a little lounge and bar. So cozy. There's a hot tub back here with a little grill and everything. And then over here we've got like a like a kids area, like a little play area for sim kids and a pool. This indoor pool is so great. Here's one of the CC pieces, I'm guessing. This is the cafe and bookstore. And inside, of course, we have the cafe right here and some cool, this is like a cool lot for your sims to come like study, like these book stacks like hanging out over here and it's just so comfy and cozy and like such a cool place to come hang out with your sims. If they're in university, they could come to a place like this and, you know, have a coffee and study or whatever. Over here is the bookshop. And this has uh, library vibes to me again. Like there's this little, um, the little counter where somebody would be working, computers, parking spots out in the back, this truck back here. I love it. Oh, and another like kids area. So this is very like family friendly. This whole save file is full of family friendly lots. And next door we've got like little park with a another vendor food vendor type of thing so we're at the community gardens now and this is absolutely my like gotta be my top favorite lot in this save i just think it's so interesting and such a good idea i never thought of doing a community garden um we've got like a little shed over here and the shed's actually a bathroom it's a little is that off grid i'm not sure <laughs> These might be like off-grid items. Um, yeah, we've got a little grill. And inside, there's like the, the counter where somebody would be working. And we've got seeds all in here. Pots everywhere to plant stuff. Shelf. Oh, this is so cute. I love like how they put trees and everything in here. Little gnome. This is such a cute idea. Playground again for the kids, or like a jungle gym at least. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, like this could be like filled with plants where all your sims could just come garden over here. Awesome idea. Now we're in the Foundry Cove neighborhood. So this is that little dead end street um, where it's normally just, you know, all residential houses over here, but we've got Ma's Diner. And this is another really realistic and cool little diner where they've used um, gallery art to make like a Starbucks menu and these little diner signs. I love the color scheme. The red and the blue and the, the checkered floors. There's like this, I, is this like a playground thing? Okay, yeah, this is a playground. I never even noticed this in the game, but this is so cool because it just fits that retro mo um, retro diner vibe so well. 
I've got a picnic table outside and I like the boxes like outside gives it more of that realistic I think they use these rocks as kind of like a it's almost like there's like trash or like you know debris so that's cool and then we're gonna go across the street and take a look at the community center or community park so here we are at the community park and this is like a rec center um, for your sims so there's like the chess tables again there's some easels like art supplies little lounge kind of area a gym I like how they made this little like boxing um, what do you call this like a little boxing arena I don't know that's just really cool how they did that I like that we've got a computer room with a piano microphone instruments and downstairs there's like an auditorium little theater type of space for performances there's a little kitchen over here it's a very cute little kitchen and there's another piece of gallery art and over here is the kids area we've got toys and playthings books this is the Silent Pines pool. And this is also so realistic. I know I keep saying that, but it just is. Like, I can't get over how realistic these lots are in these neighborhoods and how it, everything is so familiar. You know, it's like something you've seen in real life. So we've got the pool area here. I like these bars, like, separating um, this little board over here. And inside, we've got like a seating area, the lobby, and the little office with the windows. I love the use of these windows for these little lobbies and um, these little like, I don't know, what would you call that? Like a, almost like the ticket booth at the, the cinema. Over here, there's a gym, kitchen, or nope, I lied. This is uh, like a bathroom type of deal locker room type of thing and over here is just public bathrooms and then of course we've got the pool <laughs> Jack is over there enjoying the pool and a little picnic area and back here this is the kitchen and cafeteria space and for the last community lot that we're looking at it's the internet cafe and I love, like, here's the the missing poster of the girl. I like seeing these around town. Just adds so much to the, like, the depth of everything. And we've got, like, posters. So in here is, like, the little cafe area. We've got a little bar over here. And we've got computers and bookcases. Cool spot to hang out, again, with your sims. So this is the Harris household. This is next door to Ma's Diner. It's a cute little family home. Um, we've got two bedrooms upstairs and a really big... We've got a really spacious bathroom up there too. Cluttered little hallway. Um, I really love in this bedroom here the use of um, tool and some base game objects to create this like picture board kind of thing. Like this picture display with the postcards and... There's like a book and some mail hanging. I thought that was really cool. They made it look like there's little wooden clips and stuff. And then downstairs we have the kitchen, the living room. Um, there's like a little computer area over there and like a utility kind of room like off of the side here. Across the street we have the roommates household um, with the two roommates that live here. Again they've got, it's like a similar layout to the other house across the street and it's got a um, big bathroom, the two bedrooms upstairs. Um, downstairs there's another bathroom and their living room, kitchen, it's a very similar layout to the house across the street. 
This one here is the Emerson House, um, which is the family with the actual mystery with the missing teen. And this is just such a cool looking house. I love how realistic, like, suburban this is. And they've got um, two bedrooms upstairs and the master bedroom and the bathroom. Um, there's like another bathroom on the other side there. And then downstairs there's the dining room, kitchen, living room, all that stuff. And there is a basement to this house and that was Cleo's room, I believe. Um, there's some pictures there of Cleo and her friend and there's like a little kitchen. She's got like a really cool spot in the basement. I love this. Some clutter and some messy clothes, her own bathroom, all these canvases. So I guess she was artistic. Um, kind of across the street from the Emersons and next to the internet cafe is the Compton House, which is a really big family home. And they've got like a really nice layout going on. There's an empty room upstairs, the master bedroom, and then the kids room, which I think is absolutely adorable. There's like a twilight poster and stuff in their kids bedroom. I love that. And downstairs, like the, you know, typical living room, kitchen, dining room. Um, they have a garage. Over here we have the duplexes, and these are really cool. I love how lifted up these are. We've got the blue house. And we've got the tan house or yellow house. And then this is one of the empty houses in Foundry Cove. Really spacious, and it's not like put together or anything. It's just, you know, very bare bones, so you can have a Sims move in over here. And then this other empty house, which looks a lot like a Life is Strange house. Um, it's really pretty. I love it. And it's very big. And again, totally empty and bare bones for you to do whatever you want with it. And then the last residential house we have is this one here. This house is similar to the duplex homes um, in build style. And again, it's empty, bare bones for you to move in and do whatever you want with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to actually play and try to figure out this mystery and try to solve it. I've been looking forward to playing with this save file for a really long time and I really wanted to share it with everybody. So go give Silent Pine some love and let them know I sent you. Bye!